Okay, so here we go. This is my speed, my smoke, my distance test now that I've changed from uh, 2.4 gig to 5.8 gigahertz. Uh, you can do that by pressing on the 5.8G symbol up there and then clicking custom and then just choosing a channel. The channels that are below uh, 30, they're all the 2.4 gig and the channels in the hundreds, they're the 5 gigahertz channels. Um, this helped me a lot. So before this, I could only get about... 120 meters which is the maximum ceiling in Australia uh, before it basically cut out completely uh, the video started getting pretty sketchy only about uh, 70 80 meters in um, so I actually contacted DJI and uh, got a a sport case raised and I was about to send it in then I thought well let me try this so I had done a factory reset before this and that didn't really help. Um, should be noted that um, I do wear a Bluetooth smartwatch and my phone isn't in flight mode when I do this. Um, so I've gone half past the half kilometer mark here and the video is still 100%. Um, this is a screen cap from my phone so it's as is streamed live to the device. Um, now there are regulations in Australia about keeping your drone or UAV in um, in sight. So this was as far as I dared push it for today and uh, set home. So nearly 650 meters, 647 meters. I have no doubt that it's got a lot more in it than that. Um, maybe if I can find somewhere a bit more remote, I can try that out. But uh, yeah, that was as much as I was willing to push in Sydney's inner west today. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the clip. Uh, I hope this helps some people that are reading on the forums about signal issues with the uh, Mavic Air and uh, hopefully it re it's a bit reassuring about perhaps going ahead and purchasing one of these, uh, especially when you're looking at buying the old Mavic Pro, which you know is quite good, but um, yeah, the from all accounts, the video and um, photo quality is a bit better on this, this one. Um, so on the way back from um, my distance test, I uh, thought I'd uh, had a bit of a tailwind. So I thought, let's put it into sport mode, as you can see here. And uh, let's see how fast she goes. So pretty quick little thing, 75.1 kilometers an hour is what it topped out at there. Um, not a bad little uh, drone. Um, yeah, I wouldn't do that too much though. Although 82% battery, I started with 100% battery on this. So I got out to 650 meters odd and, you know, put in sport mode on the way back. Um, this is going back into the headwind, so only about 30 k's an hour or so. Um, and still have 80% battery when I land. So um, great performance from this little guy and um, Certainly feeling a lot better about my purchase now and hopefully this will help others get a bit of confidence in um, making the decision around buying this as well. Thanks guys. See you next time.